Hello, this is Tom Lux. I'm at Light Night at the Sound City Weekend. Now I'm with the Tinfoil Hat Brigade. Um, good evening. Good evening to you, sir. Uh, can, I, can I ask you uh, quickly about your name first before we go anywhere? Tinfoil Hat Brigade. Tell me how, where, where it's come from. Uh, well, basically, I'm a casual conspiracy theorist fan. And uh, like the cliche is obviously the guy with the tinfoil hat, sort of, you know, the government's controllers and all that. So I thought, I thought of it like, you know, sounds like a good name. It, but brigade, brigade makes me feel like there's more than one person and there's only you. Uh, yeah, I guess that's part of the appeal. A appeal that we think we're going to see many people and in fact we're only going to see one person. Yes. I'd be really disappointed and want my money back personally. Well, it's a free show, so you're not getting your money back. <laughs> um, tell me a little bit about the music that you make. Uh, is it, would it be classed as chip tune or...? Uh, yeah, I could say it's chip music or uh, like sort of chip music punk, but I guess uh, a lot of people are calling stuff like this data frosh now, which sounds pretty catchy, so I'll go with data frosh. That sounds like Star Trek characters beating each other up. Yeah, that probably is an accurate description. <laughs> so when, when people come on stage, like to see you on stage, are they just basically seeing Star Trek characters beating each other up? Uh, Star Trek and Scott Pilgrim and maybe some Lego characters too. It's like a big pop culture jumble. Tell me more about how you make your music. Uh, I primarily use a Nintendo Game Boy from uh, 1989. And uh, I just sort of program the music beforehand and then sort of either trigger it live or sort of just play it along and then I'll like shout and sing along to the music as well. Because my, my experience of of Game Boys is that, you know, you, you put in Pokemon and you play. How does, how does it kind of make music? That doesn't make sense to me. Uh, that's basically it. It's just a Pokemon soundtrack, but people haven't noticed at this point. Tell, tell me the truth. <laughs> There's a clever guy from Sweden called Johan Kotlinski, I believe his name is. Uh, he made a program called LSDJ, which is just like a music interface, like any sort of music program you can get for the PC, but it's on a Game Boy. So I just sort of make the music with that. That's fantastic. And lastly, I'm getting told to, to finish, and it's, it's so off-putting. Uh, lastly, when, when you're on stage, what's one of the craziest things that's happened to you? Uh, that's quite hard to explain. I guess in New York, people were moshing to uh, my Slayer cover in the middle of a Kelly Clarkson song, which I quite enjoyed, so I guess that's fairly insane. I've also seen videos of you getting thrown off like the street for making too much music. Yeah, uh, a woman in uh, Edinburgh, when I did a busking set there a few years ago, she was uh, not a fan of my music. She told me to stop, but I kept playing until some guy came over and actively pulled the cable out of the amp. That's terrible. It's a, it's a crime. <laughs> James Bentley, Tinfoil Hat Brigade, thank you very much. This has been Tom from Calm.